we propose a framework to render controllable soft shadows for image composition. Shadow is an important visual hint to make image composition natural. In product design, shadow and reflection improve the visual quality of the overall composition result. Previous GAN-based methods can render hard shadows to match the background given the object mask. However, in many design processes, there is just a plain background without other shadow hints. No control over the shadow direction will limit the use cases. Also, previous works cannot render soft shadows. However, our work can naturally render a soft shadow with a simple user click. Single image reconstruction based methods can predict the 3D model for some specific categories. However, as the methods have some camera assumptions, the shadow contact regions have errors consistently, which affects the realism. Our method does not suffer from this artifact and can render more realistic shadows. A recent work renders soft shadows given a cutout mask. However, one limitation of this work is that the shadow receiver is assumed to be a ground plane. Also, the object is assumed to stand on the plane. Our work does not have the two limitations and can render soft shadows for non-planar shadow receivers and floating objects. To summarize the contribution, first, we prose a new 2.5D representation called pixel height. Then we further propose a hard shadow renderer in the pixel height representation. We further show it is beneficial to use a neural network to render soft shadows. Let's first talk about the pixel height representation. For a given point P prime, it has a foot point relative to the ground plane. After projection, the 3D line P prime Q prime will be projected to be the line PQ on the image plane. The pixel distance between PQ is the pixel height for P prime. Here is a real world example. Point A3 has the pixel height distance of A3B3. Point A1 has the pixel height distance of A1B1. Point A2 has the pixel height distance of A2B2. Then how to render hard shadow in the pixel height representation? Given a light source P prime, an occluder A prime and a point in space C prime, the three points will be projected to pack on the image plane. The trapezoid constructed by the 3D height will be preserved to be a trapezoid after project under no pitch assumption. Using this property, if we have the pixel height of the cutout and background, we can test if a point is occluded by the cutout or not. Here is an example. For a projected light source P, an occluder A3 and a point S on the shadow receiver, if we can construct a trapezoid in the image space, then S is in shadow. In this way, we can render a shadow in the pixel height space. We further train a neural network to render controllable soft shadows for the hard shadow. Since we want the user to control the softness, we rendered soft shadow ground truth with different softness. Soft shadow can be computed by integrating a set of hard shadows generated by the area light. However, our experiments show to render a soft shadow with large softness, in this case, it took more than 30 seconds to compute. However, with our neural soft shadow renderer, the soft shadow can be rendered in 7 milliseconds. Our method can render shadows for cutouts in different domains and different categories, for example, for synthetic objects, and cartoons. No matter for the general objects or humans. The pixel height representation can also be explored to render reflection effects. Thank you for your time.